aircraft designer, Alex P. DeSeversky, who would be a great proponent of American air power during World War II, would cement his presence in the area with the establishment of the Seversky Aircraft Corporation in Farmingdale. Grumman would depart in 1937 to establish its now famed Bethpage Airfield and Aircraft Plant. He's doing things in the war bar today that the pilots of World War II were expressly forbidden from doing. You could not do aerobatics at this altitude while training in a T-6, and you certainly couldn't do it in a combat aircraft during training. Tom is well known for his exploits in air racing around the world. A World Cup winner in the International Formula One class, he's also raced various jets and famously the world's only Griffin-powered P-51 Mustang, Precious Metal. Among others, Tom has been the sponsor by Brightling Watches and is currently known as Republic Field and become the massive home to the Republic Aviation Club, where over 9,000 P-47 Thunderbolts would be produced during World War II. and the service. This legendary setting allows the public to be immersed in the history of aviation. Check that out, ladies and gentlemen. Tom brings the P-40 down low and down the show line. A cool little bit of history with Tom and this particular aircraft. He flies all kinds of warbirds and he's known for doing it. But this is his absolute favorite warbird, the P-40. And Jackie C is the very first P-40 that Tom Richard ever flew. With the American Aviation Group. They would later be transitioned and folded into American forces after the U.S. got involved in World War II. And check that out, Tom Richard brings it right down on the deck.
He's going to crab it in there just a little bit for the win. He's got to get that landing gear down on the platform. Looks like he's got it. Now he's going to walk the plane forward to be able to lock it into place. Wow. Run out of room, folks. takes off, we're reminded of a plan that was devised to launch Army B-25 bombers from an aircraft carrier and attack Tokyo and four other Japanese industrial centers. Lieutenant Colonel Jimmy Doolittle. L39s registered in the United States. It's rated for six and a half G's. To put that in perspective, as you stand here on Earth, you're experiencing one G. So that plane can pull up to six and a half times what you're the young age of 71 years. Ladies and gentlemen, look up and to your left. You'll see that he has smoked on an inbound right now. This is Larry Labriola and the L39 Albatross. Guess that wraps up for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And please subscribe to y'all for more videos like these. And have a good day.